Hello everyone, it's up to Booty Hole 2 or Richie 3 here, and I have another Railworks 3 2012 tutorial for you guys. Alright, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, we're going to take a step back actually and look at the basics of the tutorial uh, scenario editor in the new Railworks 3. So, first off, load up the game you want to, or the actual file you want to, you know, edit. So, in this case, I made a copy of the test track and renamed it and everything. And I loaded it up here. All you got to do to start editing, hit escape and click on the world editor button right there. Then you should be entered into this little, into the editor uh, menus and everything. So, first off, we'll start with the basics up here. All right, the top left, we've got our object tools. These are the buildings, trees, signals, uh, benches, just scenery items that you see around like this building. Uh, these trees right here, these little bushes, these little brambles here, and this large apartment building, or what we have here. Cars also, movable, uh, all within the object tools menu in here. All right. But actually, first off, before you should, before you get started, make sure you go into this little blue button here, Object Set Filter, left click on that, you should see a menu pop up on the right. Now, pin that on here so you can see what you're doing. Uh, this will enable you to put DLC into your uh, route. For example, if I want, say, let's see, I want the new, where is it, the, digit, the uh, DD40X in my route, all I have to do is click this little button, and you'll be able to see it. Um, some like for example, I want uh, maybe I want the more uh, trees or cars or something like that. No, so you just click on that and you'll get all this other stuff. And this will also unlock uh, items in the other menus too. We'll talk about those later. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna click on a couple of the ones that I need. The dash nine pack, yes, and uh, I think that's that's it. Okay, so then you've got that menu all set. Uh, this this is basically I mean that's all you got to do and you see you can get the click on that left click on it you got a big chimney here you can place it just left click to place click and rotate uh, you click on this thing it rotates it you move it up down through the ground you can make it like that uh, so you can do whatever you want it makes it look pretty sweet <clears throat> uh, that's about it next menu is pretty important pretty cool we got the linear objects tool otherwise known as the train track tool. These features many uh, little tools and objects and buttons you can click on. I have another video which uh, focuses mainly on placing tracks and rail segments. I'll put a video a link up right here right now so you guys can uh, get to that really quickly. Uh, basically, you got to go into here, click make sure the track rules the same, which I don't know why it's not because I haven't placed any, I guess. That's by me. Um, you click on it, you can build track, you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with that and whatnot. Uh, that's like I said another tutorial video. Uh, this is just the basics. Um, whatever. That's basically it. You got turntables here you can click on uh, basically stuff like that. Alright the next menu uh, kind of important here. You got the painting tools. This make these tools uh, make it able to paint textures on the terrain. Uh, for example we've got um, hold on, let's load up a don't want to do it. This is this button actually is for loading up uh, uh, what is it like Google Map images. You can actually place an image actually on the terrain of of Railworks, and you'll be able to put tracks over that ter like the uh, screenshot of an actual world place, and you can be able to put train tracks over that and make it look really cool and really realistic. But obviously, I don't really want to teach you about that now. So, um, for example, you got to click on uh, this button right here. Maybe if you want to put some grass and paint terrain. On the grass button. I mean, if you want to, if you want to put some grass in, all you gotta do is left click, and the grass will suddenly appear. Dry grass. You click on this button and make it dry. So we've got some little bushes here. It just it just colorizes the terrain to make it look awesome. Uh, grass. You just put some more in here. Uh, dark grass. There. You, you get the basic idea. You put some rocks. Blah blah. Whatever. All that good stuff. All right, next menu is probably the most important if you just want to get in here quick, place your locomotives. So probably the most important part, pay attention here. It's good stuff. Um, actually, yes, I do want to save the changes. So the route, that will always pop up. This will always pop up too. You usually just hit yes both times. I'm going to wait for the load. Get the little uh, box here. Oh, real quick, uh, if you want to edit the scenario properties, all you got to do is double-click on this little... Uh, 
train looking icon the orange and white thingy majigger here and the little menu will pop up you can just click on the stuff here and figure out what you gotta do I mean this is the name uh, the time the seasons right here uh, and we've got like the cloud cover and everything like the uh, no, overcast clear whatnot so alright that's basically it alright so right now we've got the cool stuff going on here alright so you got your engine set up just say I mean if it's you and I'm making a tutorial for people that like to just place trains in the routes and just drive them around you know because you got all this cool DLC but you don't know how to use it so what you gotta do make sure you know you go into this menu go to like your train and click it in here okay make sure this is selected always make sure that's selected alright and then you go down try to find it do 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 here's the DD 40x 6936 now here she is start lagging a little bit it always does that you click it and it'll be good so you place that and you can move it around and do all that cool stuff um, basically that's what you do so you got that already there and then uh, I mean you can put other units I mean you can put there's these dash nines I mean you got this train right here uh, this is a pretty cool locomotive you can just place it here that's all you gotta do left click on the train and left click on the world and you're gonna be able to place the locomotive and almost be able to drive it. The second and most important part is to actually enable the locomotive to be driven. So you go over here to the trusty little driver icon, left click on it, then you left click on the locomotive, like that. So you've got this little engineer's head blue and white icon here, and that'll enable you to drive this locomotive. It'll be running, and all you gotta do is left click on it, and you can go into it and drive it. It's pretty freaking cool. Alright, uh, next, I mean, you can go into this button if you want some rolling stock, you can click on. And there's a ton of stuff they included with this game, along with other stuff you can download off the internet. It's so just like the basics. Um, you can see you can get some hoppers in here, you want some white hoppers. You just left click, and it can build a couple hoppers and do that. Also, make sure, you see right here, this is a perfect example of what you got to be careful of. If you get errors or something when loading your screen, loading your uh, scenario, uh, make sure go back to rolling stock and make sure this doesn't happen see how I like clicked and put some rolling stock in and two cars overlapped each other obviously that's unrealistic and really not able to happen in real life as you know so what you gotta do is look for this and left click on one and delete it then you can either take this one and connect it or take the whole thing and just move it around okay All right, well I didn't okay that's good perfect so then all you gotta do is I mean, if you want to place a couple signals or something like that, you go into here. I mean, that's basically all you got to do. Those are the basics. Uh, I mean, here, let's see. I can hit save changes. Yes. I'm going and actually play the scenario real quick. Just I label it, label it free scenario so you know just I can go in here and just screw around and just play with some locomotives. Uh, figure out what's a what, if you will. So all you got to do is left click on this daddy. Pull it up. Release the brakes and drop. I mean, yeah, that's basically about it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for new tutorials, uh, please let me know. Send me a message, leave a comment in the video, or whatnot. Um, if you like uh, another type of locomotive featured in a gameplay of mine, please let me know. Uh, I play other games such as Battlefield. Like, see, if you like to see some more commentaries with me and my buddy, just let me know. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to expand my resources here. I just got Skyrim. I don't know if you guys would like to see that or not. But I mean, just let me know what you guys are thinking. And, uh, you know, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. And everybody, you guys, have a great day. See you.